everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Janae if you're new and welcome to a new video I make content centered around my weight loss journey beauty and lifestyle and I hope you subscribe so on today's video we're going to be getting into some changes some changes <laughs> to my hair this is going to be a hair update what's going on with my hair what i did to my hair what my plans are for my hair so if you're interested to see all of that good stuff then just keep on watching so as you guys can see i made a very big change i done chopped off my hair yes all of that hair i'll take a before picture of my hair i'll put it in right here but i chopped it off now this isn't the first time i did a big chop this is probably my one two three probably like my fourth or fifth time i've chopped my hair this short but in the recent years this is my third time doing it i did it back in i believe it was 2017 and i'll insert a picture and then i also did it in 2018 and then i left my hair alone i let it grow out as you guys know i relaxed my hair back in 2020 i dyed my hair black and now i big chopped it so let's get into why did i do all that why what is going on if you guys remember um i'll link the video in the cards above as well but in this video i talked about my postpartum hair shedding and how I lost all of my baby hairs when I was pregnant with my second child. So after I gave birth in 2020, going into 2021, my hair was coming out and I did not deal with postpartum shedding with our first child, but with our second child I did and it was bad. So I did some things that recovered my edges and you can watch that video if you want to know what I did. And I'll show you my before and after for my edges. And my hair after a couple months kind of chilled out with the shedding and it started to come back to life. So I proceeded on like normal. And over the last few months of the ending of 2021 going into 2022 i have realized that my hair was coming out now i know people are quick to blame relaxers or the dye no my hair wasn't breaking it wasn't damaged it was coming out from the root i make sure to check my shed hair to see if i do have breakage or to see if it's just shedding and i would see the little white bulb so i knew it was shedding but it was so much of it shedding is normal but this was so much couldn't figure it out why then i realized it's probably tied to my hypothyroidism now when i first got diagnosed with hypothyroidism from after my second pregnancy i wasn't experiencing symptoms but now as of lately i have been more fatigue hair loss difficulty losing weight yada 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 so my hair was shedding so much to the point to where i couldn't really do much with it i couldn't really wear it out because it didn't look right down it looked really stringy and thin and my hair is already naturally thin as is and so i decided to cut it i decided to cut it and i do not have a picture of it this was a couple two weeks ago probably i decided to cut it shoulder length to give it a little bit more volume so me being me of course and me being impatient i started to see that i mean cutting my hair made it look good but obviously it didn't fix the issue of it shedding so with my hair washes with it being short it was still coming out so i just decided to cut all the relaxer out of my hair or the hair dye out of my hair i just wanted a clean start with my hair and not to say that i won't go back to relaxers because most likely i will but i just need it to be as natural as possible i don't need to be putting any harsh chemicals on my scalp while i'm trying to figure out what it is that's going on and so when i did cut my hair wash it condition it styled it as usual i will insert the video i took my husband was like yeah it looks a little bald in the back and i'm like 
mind you, as he was saying it, we were in the bathroom, I was already looking at the front of my hair and this area right here. And I can see it looked a little thin. So I decided to take this video right here. And as you can see over here and in the back, it is very thin. There's definitely a lot of gappy areas. And then over here, you can see it's a little fuller. So I knew I was right. I knew I wasn't exaggerating as far as my shedding. I knew my hair was coming out. I just couldn't see it until my hair was this low. Hey guys, so Edit and Janae is here. So I know I said that it's probably linked to my hypothyroidism, but when I posted about my hair loss on my Instagram, one of my friends hit me up and said that she was actually experiencing hair loss from COVID. So she had it last summer and um, started having so much hair come out. Her doctor said that it was probably most likely from COVID. She said some of her blood levels was down as well. Like she's anemic now and she has to be on iron and all this good stuff. So she recommended something for me to purchase that she's been using that helped her hair grow back. And I just got it and I've been using it for a few days now. So I'm going to give it a month, see what it does. And then I'll do a review on it next month and post that video. Um, but then another person reached out to me on Instagram and said a girl that she knows experienced hair loss through COVID as well and she sent me her video that she posted and this girl had beautiful beautiful long thick hair and the after of it it seemed like sometimes with older women when they lose their hair it just has that short thin look that's pretty much how her hair looks now and she's a young girl so let me know in the comments below if you have COVID or if you know somebody who has or had COVID and experienced hair loss because I was reading up on this because when she when my first friend told me about it, it didn't sound foreign to me. I knew I heard it either on the radio or read it on the article somewhere. I just couldn't recall it. But then when the second person followed up with me about that, I was like, okay, maybe it's something to this. So let me know in the comments below if this is your experience. I'm glad that I'm here. I don't have a problem with wearing my hair this short. I've done it quite a few times. I actually look good with my hair this short. It fits my face. I know that from the pictures. So, and the compliments I got. So I'm cool with it. And with wearing wigs, like it's no problem. And my hair does grow fast. My thing is, I'm concerned about my internal health. If you're following my weight loss journey, then you already know I'm very big on my internal health as I improve my weight and my state of well-being. So I did get an appointment with my doctor. We're gonna take my lab values. I'm gonna talk to her about this and we're gonna dig deep into what the issue is. While I'm fixing it internally, I'm going to be on a natural hair journey like I was on a relaxed hair journey as I grow my hair back and I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys this is all about sharing my journeys and this is just one of them let me know in the comments below if you have hypothyroidism and you suffer from hair loss or hair shedding or whatever the case may be what did you do to try to get your hair to grow back let me know because <laughs> obviously I do want my hair to grow back so what is next for my hair journey and my hair content on my channel? It's gonna be business as usual. I'm still gonna give you guys hair washing routines, hair styling routines, gym hair routines, like all of the stuff that I was doing and planned on doing with my relaxed hair, I'm gonna show you guys with my natural hair as I am growing it back. And I'm gonna show you guys the products that I'm using to grow my hair back and what my doctor is saying on the inside to figure out what is going on here. Make sure you subscribe so that you can figure it out <laughs> right along with me because I'm gonna show you guys everything as my hair starts to grow back. Okay, you guys, so that was just a quick update. I wanted to pop on here and just let you know what the status is for my hair, this new look. I didn't wanna just come on camera one day and you guys are like, Wait a minute, I know you wear your hair in a bun most of the time, in a high bun. Where is it? <laughs> What's going on with all this short hair? 
I definitely wanted to keep you guys in the loop. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell icon that way you're notified every single time I post a new video. And if you have any product suggestions, things that will help get my hair to grow back, let me know in the comments below. If I like it, I'll try it. And of course, I'll share it with you guys as well if it works. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.